visiting the Philippines for Filipino American like my family is very special. In this Philippine Vacation Series blog, let me share to you our day-to-day -day activities while on vacation. I will take you to different places and share food's experiences. <laughs> After arriving around 7 p.m., a rides came and we went straight to Mana for dinner, a Filipino restaurant that famous with their crispy pancit palabo and other Filipino dishes. Okay, this is our unit. We checked into our condo after dinner. The Apton Park Suites Tower 2, located near the Apton Mall in Bonifacio Global City. I recommend this area to stay in, very secure and a nice city to walk around. This is the night view from our condo and during the day facing the city of Makati. BGC, France, Philippines. Bonifacio Global City or BGC was once part of a multi hectare portion of the gig that the United States government acquired in 1902 and operated as a military base. This is our first breakfast in the Philippines at the Wildflower Cafe near our condo. Aside from their pastries and breads, they have a really good menu for Filipino breakfast. On our way to meet our family, I saw this familiar donut store originated from Los Angeles, California. After almost 10 years, my son Ron reunited with his cousins, Dave, Godwin, Angel, and Faith, also with his Lola. <laughs> to celebrate our reunion, we have a festive lunch here at El Corazon, a Filipino Hispanic restaurant in Uptown Mall, BGC. From El Corazon restaurant, Ron and his cousins spend the whole day strolling around the BGC area and do a little shopping. This is the view of our hotel from Uptown Mall. Day 2 and BGC. Gonna have our breakfast at probably Dennis. Today's breakfast at Dennis, we will try their Filipino menu that don't have in California. Ayan ang menu na Dennis. O di ba? All day breakfast at Dennis, Filipino style. Ayan o, dito sa BGC. Wala niyan dyan sa Amerika. After breakfast, we headed to the national headquarters of Philippine National Police 
to visit my friend Madeline. She is my new friend, Frida, the Supladita. Around 6.20 p.m., I drove a Hilux manual pickup truck to Nasugbu, Batangas. After four hours of heavy traffic and heavy rain, we finally arrived at the Canyon Cove in Nasugbu, Batangas. This is Canyon Cove Rest House under the management of Kaylee Bricks Spaces, owned by Cesar and Delsa Sangalang. Let's have a little tour inside the house. I am here at third floor. First door to my left is the master's bedroom with its own bathroom. There are two additional rooms across the master's bedroom. And right next to the master's bedroom is a bathroom and right next to it is another room total of four bedrooms in this floor now let's check the second floor second floor there's another bathroom here okay another room This area is so spacious, you can have formal dinner here or conference with friends and families. The place is so amazing with five big rooms and three bathrooms with a huge receiving area. From this beautiful and cozy house, you can access their private beach front by walking. The beach is clean and have a very amazing sunset. Now let's go to the beach. This exclusive beachfront is part of Nasugbu Bay and it is for Canyon Cove residents only. You will definitely enjoy this spot while staying to the Caleb Ricks rest house. After having fun in the beach, you can also hang out here, infinity pool facing the beautiful view of Nasugbu Bay and the barbecue area with long table where you can enjoy your food while swimming. Special thanks to Cesar and Delsa Sangalang for your generosity. Another fun thing to do in the Philippines while on road trip are the stops for foods and pastries. This is our first stop, the fruit stands along Tagaytay and Sugbu Highway in 
ng barangay Banila, Nasagbu, Batangas. You like it? Make sure to bring Philippine currency cash with you during the road trip. This is Bag of Beans, Pasalubong. We're going to buy their famous crunchy banana chips. Ayan. The Bag of Beans, Pasalubong. The Mushroom Burger in Tagaytay. Pero yung iba, yung ibang... Quick stop at Leslie's restaurant just to check if we can see the beautiful Taal volcano. But unfortunately, the fog took over the view. Then Rowena's Pasalubong to buy more pastries for our friends in California. And the last stop before our dinner is the Bahay Pastulan for their famous Ubi Halaya or mashed sweet purple yum. This is Ridge Park Kainan sa Kubo, known for their unlimited soup for bulalo or beef marrow stew. After the long and fun day of road trip from Nasugbu, Batangas with my family, we enjoyed the hot bulalo and their delightful Filipino dishes in a very relaxing surroundings under the trees with the overlooking barely seen Taal volcano underneath the fog. This is my beautiful family. The book of Proverbs 17 verse 6 Children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. On our next episode, I will visit my hometown, officially the first class municipality in Quezon Province in the Philippines, Sariyaya. For more travel videos, please subscribe this channel and thank you for watching.